Hi there, my name is Jay Digital, and I wanted to create a video today demonstrating my new script, Selecting All Pixels Inside Group. This is a Photoshop script that I have found myself creating because of a particular scenario, which I'm going to outline right now. So in this case, we have a bunch of different layers that have their own set of pixels, and I want to make a mask based off of all of them. Now, those Photoshop users that would find this useful are understanding that that task is probably daunting, depending on how many layers you have. And I've more or less built an example uh, folder or file to demonstrate the script in a manner of which would be helpful. So in this case, we have a bunch of layers that are more or less separate elements of this design, if you will. And in any case where, granted, this is only 10 layers, but say we have like 20 or 30. Even in a case that we have 10, depending on how intricate it is, it could be really tiresome. So in a case, I'd like to select all the pixels on all of these layers all at once. I might take a little time to select the first one and then just continue to grow the selection off of that. In a case of 10 layers, and in this case, it doesn't seem to be taking a lot of time. But if we have more and it's more intricate, this is where this script would come in handy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select the group that I have them in. You're going to, for the script, you're going to want your layers that you want selected in a specific group so that it can manage those assets and create a mask on that group. So I'm going to select the group. Then I'm going to run the script, which I have under this button here, which is an action. Um, I have a readme file. After you purchase the script, it, the directions and instructions on how to build or install this script in this way, those instructions will be there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select this since I already have it installed and verified. And as you can see, it made the selection and it built a special mask for me right here where I can easily manage what's inside of the layers. And if I ever wanna just change what's happening in these layers, you're gonna to want to delete the layer mask because if I move this right off the bat, it's going to keep the mask and then you're not gonna be able to see that piece, you know, aside from what's masked. So. But that makes it super easy, super quick. I hope that if you end up purchasing this and using it, that it helps your process. My name is Jay Digital, and thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and purchase this script at jdigital.us slash pro. Thank you.